WordPress is the most popular platform for building websites worldwide and yet it is lacking one essential feature, is that multiple people cannot work on the same document at the same time. So here you can see that John Doe is currently editing and if I want to edit, I will see this warning message and now I only have two options available, either take over, in which case John Doe will not be able to work on this blog post anymore, or exit the editor and then I can't work on it either. But thankfully enough, we have the solution to this problem. It's called Multicollab. And as you can glean from its name, it allows multiple users to collaborate and work on the same blog post or page at the same time. Now you will agree with me that this is what you call a secret weapon, especially if you run a busy website where you upload lots of content every week. Okay, let me show you. So let's pretend that you're working on this blog post and you'd like to ask help from one of your colleagues or teammates. So what can you do in that case? Well, very easy. By the side, we have the multi-collab logo here. Click on this and now you can share this with anyone you want. And for this, all you have to do is click on this button here and then you can invite anyone you want just by using their email address. So let's say we're going to invite David and then you can set different privileges so either viewer or commenter and then you can notify that person as well take this box here and then you can type a personal message like for instance this one and then click send you then receive a confirmation that the invitation was sent and now david will receive an invitation via email and as you can see john doe has invited you to work on a document and this is the link david has to click on and once he clicks on this he will access the same document without having to enter any credentials now the first way of collaborating on a document is by adding an inline comment. So let's say I'm not too sure about this statement here and I might ask David for some help. So I click on this button here and now as you can see by the side I can type a comment. So I can send a message directly to David so I can type the add sign and select David and then I can type my comment. So for instance is this stat correct? Can you double check please? And right here underneath, you can see you can assign this to David. So what does that mean? If you tick that box, well, basically David will be responsible for marking it as done. Whereas if it's not assigned to David, anyone can mark the task as completed. And then after this, I can simply post my comment. And now from David's screen, we can see this is highlighted and I can reply to this message. So I'm just going to type here, for instance, yes, that's 100% correct. I'll mark this as done. And then I can post my reply. As you can see, I have the complete thread here. And now as David, I can mark this as resolved and click yes. And that's it. Now we've confirmed that this statement is correct. And now we can carry on with editing the rest of our blog post. So now let's say David would like to suggest an edit. So maybe have this in bold letters in italic. How can he do so? Well, for this, you need to enable the suggestion mode. So for this, click on the logo again, go to the settings. And right here, you have the suggest edit. Use the toggle switch, enable that. Okay. And now we can go back to our document and suggest an edit. So let's select our text here. And now we can change this maybe to bold and italic. And as you can see by the side here, the suggestions are recorded immediately. And now anyone coming along can either accept the suggestion or reject it. So if I was to accept it just like this, as you can see, now the changes have taken place immediately. And if they decided to reject it, well, it will revert back to its original state. Now, let me show you another amazing feature with the suggestions. You can actually replace a word and suggest another one. So let's say instead of more than 46%, I would like to have a staggering 46%. What I can do is basically highlight this, hit the delete key. As you can see, now it's gone in red. And I can type the actual text next to it, just like this. And as you can see, this is my suggestion. And again, if someone was to come along, they can either accept or reject the suggestion. So let me show you if someone accepts it. There you go. As you can see, the changes have been applied automatically. And finally, you can also attach a document. So let's say if I wanted to add a table after this section here, I can post a comment. I can tag David and ask him to convert this PDF file and insert it as a table. And then after that, all I have to do is click on the paperclip to attach the file. And you can upload your file, select file, and then select your document, open, and then select. And there you go. Now, as you can see, this has been attached to my comment and I can post it. And when David joins in, he can open that document and work on it. And it's super easy to keep track of what's happening and all the interaction on your blog post. If you click on the logo again, 
As you can see, they're all recorded here by the side and it's very easy to follow and have a quick overview of what's happening. Now you can also go to your WordPress dashboard, go to multi-collab, and as you can see right here, you have all the latest activities recorded as a timeline. As you can see, this is today, and then you have the timestamp and what activities took place. And you can also access them in the report section here, displayed slightly differently. As you can see here, we have the title of our blog post, and right here you have the amount of comments that are open and resolved. So this is basically giving you a quick overview of what's happening on your blog post in a slightly different manner. And if you wish, you can also receive confirmation via email like we have here. As you can see, the suggestion was accepted and marked as resolved by David. And if you are afraid to miss out on the action, if you have a Slack channel, you can link it directly to Multicollab as well. And you can do so very easily in just a few clicks. Simply click on connect and then sign into your workspace and then select the channel where you want to post all these comments. And there you go, as you can see, now we are connected. And now if you go to your Slack channel, you will find all the multi-collab notifications with links directly to open those documents if you want to work on them. And as you can see, this feature will allow you to fit multi-collab in a place you know your team is checking all day. So let me show you another amazing feature. If you go to settings and then scroll down the page, as you can see, Multicollab is also available in multiple languages. So we have English by default, but you can select any of those additional languages as well. Hindi, French, German, Bengali, Spanish, and Chinese. And right here on top, as you can see, you can manage your permissions as well. So what is this for exactly? Well, you can assign and define what privileges and what tasks anyone can perform. So as you can see, you have add comment, resolve comment, and then add suggestion or accept and reject suggestions. Now you can disable them all together as well. So as you can see, you have different roles here. You have admin, editor, author, contributor, subscribers, and guest as well. Now depending on what task you want each role to be able to perform on your website, you can basically tick or untick any of those boxes. So there you have it. That's the secret weapon that will allow you to run a successful WordPress website by collaborating on the same blog posts or pages. Now, if you found this helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and feel free to like and share as well. So if you want to discover more about Multicollab, we'll leave a playlist right here.